Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Trek Collector. And yet again, it's another Diamond Select ship. It is the Enterprise D from All Good Things, or known as the Dreadnought, in case any of you aren't aware of that. But it's the All Good Things Enterprise D from uh, Star Trek, the season finale. Now, um, the electronics were known to be iffy on the Dreadnought and the previous D. And I'm going to see, the great thing is the lights still work on this one. So there might be a few issues with the lights and sounds, but let's see. Anyway, we're going to give this a bash. This kit, the, this ship is a good few years old now at this point, but holding up well. Hang on, let's see what happens. Engage the clock. Okay, so that's as far as we go. So Captain Riker giving his orders there, but we do have our lights on. And again, like the newer Diamond Select toys, the cool feature is that the lights stay on the ship. So this is her on her stand. And this is the stand, this stand you can use for your star drive as well. There's a different stand for the saucer section and you just basically move that stand back. So let's get in close and have a look at this ship. So overall as well, there's a couple of things that like, you know, are you a big fan of the sounds? I'm not really um, kind of like a neat little extra feature, but not that bothered by me. So I don't think there's too much point in going into too much detail on this ship because it was pretty much covered with the galaxy. But we'll look at the extra details. So we've got like a, f a strip around our phaser banks. We've got these phaser cannons, which were really cool in the episode. And we got photon torpedo launches right behind the bridge. Now, would it clear the bridge? Ooh, I don't know. And the funny thing is, um, Andrew Probert, who designed the D, is very funny about what he thinks of his ship. Now, in fairness, it's no disrespect for any of the guys that were still working on Star Trek season seven. They had to reuse the model. So like literally to make a futuristic, they had to kind of like, kind of like the Enterprise B from uh, generations upgrading a studio model adding pieces on that can be taken off and keeping the studio model intact so challenging so we have this big massive plasma rifle underneath but like one of the things that Andrew probably would point out is it's blocking the captain's yacht so and the captain's yacht's still there Um kind of like space racing fins <laughs> interesting but again to make a difference i did like the fact that they added these onto the nacelles and like the third nacelle in here is literally as you can see it's just kind of like bumped in and the extra impulse drives so finally um yes the star drive has a boosted super impulse section but it's going straight into the nacelle house in there so interesting enough so i can see andrew's um reasons why he wasn't too keen what they did to his ship but at the same time screen wise it looked amazing flying in now i don't know if we're going to get the saucer separation sound i don't think we are no uh it's basically when this is running which is really really cool um we've kind of covered that from the last review and again we're just going to go in here and again, loads of detail on the battle bridge. Um, again, the neck, very bland, unfortunately, just paint, just added in. But overall, she is a nice ship. Really cool, because it's a one-off ship that Diamond Select did this. Um, really, really cool, I have to say. Uh, one thing that I would say is, unfortunately, I know they have to put these, it's not as bad as this one, but on the last one on the Enterprise D, so like they got away with, they put the, the stuff there, CBS Studios, made in China, and um, they left it there. But I forgot to show you is on the last D, um, bear with us, they did that, which was a bit, uh. <laughs> you know what I mean? They could have hidden it better. But, you know, as I said with Diamond Select, every time they, they redo a ship, they do kind of take comments involved. You know, whatever it is about the stands, I'm not too sure, but they do seem to listen and they do tend to like it's it's another good company like eagle moss that like i know 
every company has their drawbacks and they have their faults in production but you know i think we're kind of very lucky that we do have the likes of eagle moss diamond select toys that do listen and do improve their ships so um yeah that has been the dreadnought galaxy class starship um or the all good things galaxy um it looks amazing on screen it's a unique ship it's a beastie I think it's a fan favorite. What do you guys think? Looking forward to seeing what you think in the comments section below. But that has been the Enterprise D, guys. Galaxy. Dreadnought. <laughs> Until the next review, guys. Take care. Stay safe.